This conference will now be recorded. So, very good evening all. Today, we'll be learning very important and very interesting topics in gravitation. Those are escape velocity, then satellites, then what is geostationary satellites and etc. It's various uses, all those things we'll be learning. And this part is very, very important for various competitive exam also. So let us start with escape velocity. So what is escape velocity? So we have our experience that if we throw anything with certain velocity, okay, if we throw up with certain velocity, then it goes up to some height, suppose h, okay, some height h, and then what it does, it come, comes back to Earth's surface. So this is the natural thing we know. If we throw the same object with little bit greater speed or by giving little bit greater kinetic energy, then what happens? It may go little further height, okay? It may go little further height and then come back to Earth surface itself, okay? So suppose this is V prime, which is greater than V. So it will go little further, little further in the upward direction, okay? But if suppose enough kinetic energy is given to a particular object and thrown with that very high kinetic energy or with very high speed from the earth surface, there is a probability that this object may not be coming back to the earth surface again. That is called escaping from the gravitational pull of the earth. I'll just come again. If an object is thrown with sufficiently high speed such that it can escape from the gravitational pull, then that object is not coming back to the earth surface. So this phenomenon is called escape, escaping the gravitational pull of the earth. Now, what is escape velocity? If we write, see, you need certain minimum velocity with which you have to throw it up such that it leaves the earth surface and never comes back. And that ha that happens because it, by, by, see, when you apply this minimum velocity to this object, it can overcome the gravitational pull of the earth surface. Okay, this, so the definition of the escape velocity is that Escape velocity, escape velocity is the minimum velocity, the minimum velocity with which a body must be thrown or projected with which body must be thrown, must be thrown or projected projected vertically upward vertically upward
in order that in order that it just escape just escape the gravitational pull of the earth okay this is the definition of escape velocity so this is the minimum velocity which with which you have to project or thrown a particular object vertically upward so that it just escape the gravitational pull of the earth okay so this is called escape velocity now let us derive the expression for the escape velocity so to derive escape velocity expression for the escape velocity let us consider the earth to be a solid sphere of radius capital r as we had discussed in the last class while learning about gravitational potential and field we considered the earth, the earth to be a solid sphere of radius capital r and it has uniform density rho so radius r in uniform density do, rho and capital mass m and it has like mass is capital m and it has a center that is o o is the center so these are the things we had just assumed now let us see see there is a suppose there is an object initially there is an object initially at okay so let us take this up to this height it is x okay up to this height it is x okay let us take this up to this height it is x up to q suppose there was an object initially having mass m it was at q initially initially at q that is x distance distance away from the earth surface earth center of the earth from the center of the earth okay from the center of the earth x distance away now see at this distance what is the gravitational pull on that particular object the gravitational force will be on that object as you know g m m by x square okay so, so this is the gravitational attraction on this particular object which is at q now look if we take this object to a point p okay and there is a little displacement or little distance between p and q so what is the work done so we are actually see this object is actually experiencing an attractive force towards the center of the earth now if we just take that away from q to p so work done work done to take m from take okay take to m to p point from q and see this p to q is the delta x distance so what will be the work done work done suppose delta w is f into dx okay D, dw is the small amount of work done due to due to take uh, like for taking the object from q to p that is this one now what is the total work done what is the total work done if we want to see escape velocity means the object it, it goes to infinity it it is actually away from the earth the gravitational pull of the earth surface so suppose we take the object from q to infinity x is infinity here 
okay suppose not x from suppose suppose we are taking that object from r from r surface to infinity so okay so i'll just remove this portion okay let me write here so work done to take the object from r surface to infinity this integration you have to do so what is dw this we know f dx what is f that is also that is also known let me go to the next page so work done is dw integration so you have to take the limit from r surface to infinity okay r surface at r surface x is r now you you have here r to infinity then f into dx is dw what is f again we can write what is f also f and dx is already there so we we know f is g capital m small m and then x square dx okay now if you do this integration what you get anyway g capital m sorry this capital m small m by x with minus sign if you take the limit x is equal to r to x is equal to infinity so this is the lower limit this will give you in zero so with lower limit you get g m m by r okay this is the potential energy or this is the this much is the work done you have to do to take a particular object from r surface to infinity now look we know this is see this this work done how do we do actually we are just applying see if if v e be the escape velocity escape velocity that is the minimum velocity you are providing to the object such that it can it can overcome the gravitational pull see so in that case see if this v e is the escape velocity to overcome the gravitational pull of the earth surface you have to have the kinetic energy half mv e square is equal to at least is equal to this one or greater than this okay at least is equal to this kinetic energy of the body with escape velocity v e has to be exactly equal to the work done to take that particular object from our surface to some infinity distance or away from the earth surface very much much away from or very far from the earth's gravitational pull so if you just simplify it how how you get escape velocity escape velocity is c root over 2 gm by r okay so what is the expression for the gravitational sorry escape velocity so the, i'll write it here v e is equal to root over 2 g m by r so this is the escape velocity this is the escape velocity okay so this is the expression for the escape velocity uh, let me clean everything or let me just recap what i have done see to calculate the escape velocity what you have to do you have to take the earth surface earth to be a solid sphere and suppose the radius of the sphere is capital r it has mass capital m it has a center at o and it has a mass density uniform mass density rho look if initially an object is there at q point which is x distance away from the x uh, from the center of the r then at that particular height the object experience experiences a gravitational pull towards the center of the r and that gravitational pull is of amount this much g mm by x square now if i take that object from q to p point okay and thereby you displace the object by dx see it is 
experiencing an attractive force towards center. Now you are taking it away from that, so you have to act against the gravitational pull. And for that, you have to do certain work, and that work then can be written as this one. dW is equal to f dot dx. Now look, we know what is f, what, and then see. Yeah. So if you want to calculate escape velocity, then the object has to be taken from or thrown from our surface, and it has to go to infinity. Okay. So by doing that, like for doing that, how much work you have to do, or how much work, yeah, how much work you have to do by, by or in terms of applying kinetic energy to or imparting kinetic energy to that object. Okay. So now look. This is the integration. So x is equal to r to infinity. Now, uh, now here, if you put f dot dx and do the integration, which I have done in the next page. So here, so if we do this integration, then what you get is this one. Okay. Now, see, this is the energy or work done. You have to, you have to actually do, or you have to uh, uh, do this much of work done on a particular object. To make it escape from the surface of the Earth. So if the escape velocity is this much, then it will have kinetic energy imparted to it is half m v e square, and this must be equal to the work done, which you had to do to make that particular object escape from the. At surface to infinity. So this these two things, if you just equate, you will get the expression for the escape velocity. Now I'll write what is the expression. The expression is 2 g m by r square. Sorry, 2 g m by r. So this is the general formula. Now, okay. Now, now again we know on the at surface. At surface. At surface, we know g m is equal to g r square. Okay. If we put it here, look in the escape velocity expression, what we get? Two g m is g r square. Two g r square divided by r. So look, this this will give you two root two g r. This is the expression for escape velocity. Final expression. For escape velocity, and this formula is very very useful for calculating various or solving various numerical problem. Okay. Now one more thing: if suppose the density is like if the uniform density is given, then what? How do we express this escape velocity in terms of capital G and M? See, look. We can write m is equal to four by three pi. Then r cube and rho. If we just insert this value here, what we get? The escape velocity will be. See, if we put it here, so eight g m or 8 pi, 8 pi g, then r square rho, rho, and this will be the escape velocity expression for. Okay, three will be there in the down. Here, yeah, three will be there. So 8 pi. Root over 8 pi g r square rho. This is the this is the this is another expression for escape velocity. I'll I'll write in clean uh, places. So escape velocity we have got 8 pi 8 pi g r square rho r square by 3. Okay, so these are two expressions you can use. 
So these are expression for escape velocity. Now, if we put the velocity so here, here one thing actually is very very clear that escape velocity does not depend on the mass of the object. Okay, neither it. Okay, so it depends on the mass of the mass and radius of the earth surface. That means from where you are, you are providing kinetic energy. Okay, so this is called escape velocity, and escape velocity does not depend on the mass of the projected object. And one more thing, actually, see, we are saying that it has to be projected vertically upward. If suppose someone projected uh, 60 degree angle with the vertical, then what will be the escape velocity? Will that change? Change like v v of cos of 60 degree or sine of 60 degree no the escape velocity remains the same like how much you have inclination you just see if it is thrown in the up, upward direction with certain angle with the vertical that doesn't matter actually the escape velocity remains the same so it does not does not depend on how, how much angle you are projecting okay so so this is about escape velocity now we'll see this escape velocity has a lot of impact on the atmosphere see we'll take a few examples of escape velocity like moon and then jupiter and our earth also see earth has this escape velocity v earth this is 11.2 kilometer okay kilometer per second kilometer per second then for moon for moon it is only 2.3 kilometer per second 2.3 kilometer per second and see so we'll take jupiter Jupiter has 60 km per second. Jupiter. Escape velocity for Jupiter, uh, Jupiter 60 km per second. Okay, these are the escape velocities for different planets. Now look, the atmosphere, atmosphere on particular, uh, like uh, on, on the particular uh, uh, like planet, depend on this escape velocity see if suppose we have various air molecules and they are their average kinetic energy if that becomes somehow somehow that becomes greater than escape velocity of the earth then all the atmosphere will get away like go away and you know you may not have any atmosphere attached to the earth surface okay so this is happens actually with the moon also moon hardly has atmosphere it doesn't have atmosphere because even a smallest like the lightest ele element lightest element to heaviest element everything actually they can escape from moon's surface because of their escape velocity is very very because the escape velocity is very less that is 2.3 km per second so if you throw something okay uh, greater than velocity greater than 2.3 km per second then that object will not come back to the surface of the moon so this is what is the significance of escape velocity and also we'll see so to to have our atmosphere attached to our earth, earth surface and little bit above till the gravitational pull is working this is by the grace of this escape velocity if the escape velocity is more then the atmosphere will be there if the escape velocity is very very less then atmosphere will not be there any atmosphere will not be there so in case of moon there is no atmosphere okay so this is the significance of escape velocity now we'll see again 
when we launch any satellite or anything so in that case also this escape velocity plays an important role so suppose you are just trying to launch a satellite around the geostationary satellite or any a satellite around certain uh, planet then you have to actually escape like you have to provide kinetic energy to that satellite such that it it can overcome the gravitational pull so to do that you have to give certain minimum kinetic energy and that is half m v escape velocity square okay an escape velocity depends on root gr see root 2 gr it does not depend on it does not depend on the mass of the satellite it depends on the radius of the object uh, or radius of the planet from which you are throwing and gravitational pull or gravitational attraction of that particular uh like gravitational pull or gravitational acceleration due to gravitation at that particular earth surface okay or particular planet okay so this is about escape velocity now we'll go to the part satellite what is satellite a satellite is a body which is continuously revolving around a much larger body around a much larger body is called satellite see if i give the example rather than giving you the definition you will be able to grasp it easily suppose our earth planet is there okay earth planet is there this is earth planet and there is moon which is rotating or revolving about about the or around the sun so this moon is actually called a satellite for earth similarly each and every planet they are moving around the sun okay moving around the sun so all the planets are called satellite satellite of the sun okay this is satellite now there are two types of satellites one is natural another one is artificial satellite so there are two types of satellites natural and and artificial artificial satellites so natural satellites are actually created by nature itself so like see moon is the natural satellite for earth and again you have jupiter and saturn jupiter has almost i think 12 satellites 12 satellites jupiter has around it and also saturn has i think 14 saturn has 14 such satellites these are actually these are natural satellites now what is artificial satellite see by man like the, the these satellites are actually man made satellites man made satellites so man made satellites are called artificial satellites see like russia was the first country in the world to put sputnik a satellite sputnik 1 in the orbit around the earth and that is in 1957 sputnik sputnik 1 okay october 4th so this is 1957 russia had launched a satellite in orbit around the earth surface okay and then thereby india also nowadays they have 
done lot of india has done lot of improvement in the space science and research so we also have many satellites now okay many satellites around the earth so we'll be learning what are the uses of the satellites see actually satellites in fact geostationary satellites we'll see and that time we'll discuss the uses of geostationary satellite now what i'll do is i'll just calculate orbital velocity of satellite orbital velocity velocity of a satellite orbital velocity of a satellite okay suppose i'll take let us take earth itself okay it is a sphere it has radius r and there is an object sorry that is satellite that, that is a satellite which is revolving around the earth okay revolving around the earth at eight height from the center of the earth from the center of the earth this is the satellite okay so if suppose there is a satellite which is revolving around the earth this is earth around the earth with like uh with see this this has orbit of revolution is this much then r plus h this is the, the this is the radius of the satellite now you know we have to find out what is the orbital velocity so look if we if we have the satellite at this much height okay uh, so the distance of the center is r plus h so what is the gravitational pull this particular satellite is experiencing the g m m by r so this satellite has small m mass r plus h whole square okay now see for a for an object to revolve around anything in circular orbit what is the criteria it has to be supplied a centripetal force so suppose this object has centripetal force See centripetal centripetal force is how much? If V O is the linear velocity, then m v square by r m v square by r will be m v o square by r plus h so this should be the centripetal force for this particular satellite to revolve around the earth and the satellite is at h distance away or h distance height h height so this is the centripetal force and you know uh, the centripetal force actually is provided by the gravitational force of attraction so i can just equate them mbo square by r plus h okay so now r plus r r plus h goes up so look from here you will get this orbital velocity is equal to g root over gm by r plus h whole square down okay i'm sorry there will be no whole square this is this is the thing okay so i'll just go here and say so what we have got orbital velocity is root gm by r plus h now look this orbital velocity of 
a certain satellite does not depend on mass then it does not depends on r anything it does not depend on sorry this a this depend on actually this orbital velocity see look here this orbital velocity depends on the mass of the particular planet around which they are revolving this is gravitational constant this is constant itself this is r plus h r plus h is the radius of the orbit of that particular uh, yeah for, for that particular satellite okay so now if suppose the height is very 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 less in the sense suppose the height is zero okay suppose the height is zero then what you get so if the height is zero look you get gm by r now gm on the earth surface we know so height is zero means it is on the earth surface that means it is on the earth surface so the object is on the earth surface now this point you know right this is earth surface this is very close to earth surface so this gm you know for the earth surface it is gr square if we put gr square over here then you get root gr so look there is a relationship between orbital velocity and escape velocity so orbital velocity what we have got o is equal to root of our gr and v escape velocity we have got root to gr now if we take orbital velocity and this escape velocity gr this is root to gr so it will be 1 by root 2 okay or or orbital velocity will be always this much of escape velocity how much this will be 1 by root 2 times of escape velocity or if the orbital velocity is known then escape velocity is root 2 into v okay root 2 into v so v orbital so we can say that the escape velocity of a body from the earth surface is root 2 times the velocity of the circular orbit that just above the earth surface so just above the earth surface if there is a satellite which is just above the earth surface for it the orbital velocity is 1 by root 2 times the sk velocity okay so we have learned this orbital velocity sk velocity what is the relation between them now if okay now let us see what is the time period of the satellite of a satellite what is the time period of a satellite and then we will learn what is geostationary satellite so time period we have got see or orbital velocity as this gm by root over gm by r plus h okay so the, for the same satellite what is the time period we know the time period will be 2 pi r plus h divided by v orbital so this is the time period so what is orbital velocity we will put it here this is a h okay so what is v o we will write here root of r c g g m okay so this is the thing and look if we put everything inside how does this look 
let us write t is equal to 2 pi root of r root of r r plus okay so it is already given root of r so r plus h whole cube and divided by g rho r cube okay so you might be thinking wh how where does this uh, rho cube and all those things comes because m is equal to 4 by 3 pi and r cube is r plus h cube into rho okay so gm g will be also here so this, this is what is expression for time period so what you have got expression for time period okay let me write t is equal to 2 pi v orbital by 2 pi sorry 2 pi r plus h divided by by escape velocity sorry this is orbital velocity so orbital velocity you have got 2 pi r plus h this is so this is okay so now it will come r plus h from orbital velocity and it will be root of r g m okay now g m is equal to how much g m is equal to g r square you can put it here and from here r plus h and this is g m is again g r square if we write then r will come out of this so you can write as a whole 2 pi root of r r plus h this by okay so yeah so up to this is all right so if you put this g am g as g r square then it is like this g r square so you will get 2 pi root 2 pi okay so i'll write the final expression for this maybe yeah we'll we'll take up this expressions while doing numerical calculations okay so okay let me let me just write it properly it has two ex two different expressions one is 2 pi as we have Learned now, 2 pi root of r, r plus h whole cube by g m. You can write like this, or you can write this as 2 pi root of r, r plus h whole square. Sorry, whole cube by g r square. Okay. Another format is also there. We can write even with material so gm is there so uh, let me write the final expression itself so you would get here 3 pi r plus h whole cube 
divided by capital G rho and R cube. Okay, so I'll I'll stop it here with this, and next day we'll take up the numerical problems on satellite escape velocity etc. And that time we'll discuss about geostationary satellite also. What is the geostationary satellite? What are the uses? And what are the numerical problems asked depending on the properties of geostationary satellite? So those things we'll be discussing in the next class. Okay, so bye for today.